Hey, what's the Madbot2000 here? Welcome back to another video of Regret. Uh, welcome to part 21 of Regret. Uh, also, actually, I'll, I'll tell it later. <laughs> we should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I decided, uh, but I, I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Matbot? Hold on. There's still one problem. Yeah? What's that? Now we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club! Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I saw it. <laughs> it's just... When they get sad, they just go like... They just like face into the ground. The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Matbot. The thing is, we don't have enough members to form an official club. We need four, and I've been trying really hard to find new members. If we don't find one more before the festival... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I don't feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Besides, the club's the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if rank poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I decide then. I'll join the anime club! Nah, I'm kidding. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes played up. And they also get out of the ground. Oh my goodness. Really? You really mean that, Matbot? Yeah. Could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super p PO'd. Matbot, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Why'd I do it in Yuri's voice? Matbot, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monka looks over at me once more. Mapbot, look forward to, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monka with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls, girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll need to make the most out of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Let me, I'm trying to do something that, like, everyone has run across. So, 
So let me just skip all of this. I already read the poem. Probably didn't even read it all the way. I probably. There's probably more to it, but, um. Alright, um. Oh God! Holy crap! Oh my God! Frig, man! <coughs> Pow! Readable. Friends. Melody Shiny Lollipop Games Fun Bunny Skirt Boop Milk Oh my god, poof Chocolate Twirl Music Socks Anger What laugh? Okay. And no not kidding. Mouse. I did not like that. That, that just added. I don't remember copyright or can you hear me being in here. There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a writhing, twisted mess of dread. Loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt... All threshing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find into their willpower, starving them of all motivation and desire. It's giving me a creepy vibe, cause like it's distorted into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute skirt, new skirt. Such a delibral, del delorable, tangled masses already present in every single one of them. That's why I choose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Holy crap. Copyright. Let's look at the copyright. Doki Doki Literature Club. Copyright to set. Oh. In. Is anyone noticing that's like Hi again, Mapbot. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry about it. I'm scared, cause like it seems a bit this might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back in the literature club. 
It's the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Ouch! <sighs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Mattbot. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. It! <sighs> Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You know, I had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to come here just to hang out or whatever, or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. She's... I can't read that. Natsuki certainly... Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in the club room. Mm -hmm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying manga and manga. Manga is literature. The swiftly defeated Nats Natsuki plops into her seat. I'm sorry, Matt, but I swear things are different. Like, make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all. Perhaps you might have interest in picking a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in the club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Ugh. If you really don't want to, then forget I said anything. Ah, uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try and be a part of this club. So even if I didn't read... Often, I'd happy to pick a book if you want me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read. It should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that... Yeah! Everything... Everything was different. Okay. Yeah, it was... An angle. And closer. Now that everyone has settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Okay. You looking for something in there? Hmm. Hmm. Effing Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. That's why I'm keeping your collection organized if someone else is gonna mess it up. Does that appear in the history? Freaking. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyways? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. It was a lone volume of manga it missed amidst in a stack of various books on the side of the shelves. Curiously, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it off my hand, and then she turns to a box of manga and slips the volume into the middle of the rest. Thankfully, it's the end of this video. So let me save. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification to become a, the notification squad today.
and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.